Now, a few weeks ago, I visited a small reserve called Ros Marion, just a few miles away from here, in search of an insect that you might not associate with the autumn. It's the marsh fritillary. Marsh fritillaries were once widespread across Britain and Ireland, but declined dramatically over the last century. Now, they're considered to be threatened, not just here, but in Europe as well. I'm here to meet Ceredigion County butterfly recorder Paul Taylor to find out more. Now, mass fritillaries, they've declined over the years. Why is that? It's mainly because of loss of habitat. Lots of these areas that used to be pastures have been dried up and it's ended up that the Devil's Miscavius has died back and consequently the uh, food plant for the marsh fritillary has disappeared. Right, OK, and Devil's Miscavius, this lovely purpley flower here, isn't it? The butterflies deposit their eggs on the leaves of the Devil's Miscavius. When the larvae emerge, they have a food source ready and waiting and they've come up with an ingenious way of protecting themselves from parasites and predators alike. Larval webs. These webs can be counted from late summer to early autumn to give an indication of how populations are doing in strongholds like this. How are they doing locally here in Keredigion? We're quite surprised how well they're doing, actually, because lots of the sites that we've been surveying, we found more larva webs, and we've actually found butterflies on the sites um, that had previously not had them on before. So across the road, there's a site called Roskelly, and we've actually found 13 larva webs in there this year, and that was unoccupied for the last seven years we find in that people are actually sending in pictures of butterflies they've seen that they don't know what it is, and it's a marsh fritillary, so, you know, that is really positive. Well, so it's good news at that one site in Ceredigion, but I'm afraid it's bad news elsewhere in Wales, in the UK and in Europe as a whole, because the population is continuing to decline and habitat loss is the biggest issue. Grazing is a big thing. Overgrazing by sheep is bad for them because the sheep tend to target the devil's bit scabious, which is the caterpillar food plant. Undergrazing means that it gets covered in scrub. People, because the horse pasture is no good for agriculture, people will often plant trees on there. And once these populations become isolated, they lose touch with each other and they eventually die out. But I'm very pleased to say that there are groups of committed conservationists out there working hard to make sure that we don't lose this beautiful butterfly from our mm. countryside. Absolutely. And not far from here at the National Botanical Gardens in Wales, the Initiative for Nature Conservation Cymru have been breeding marsh fritillary caterpillars with a view to releasing them at suitable sites. And one such site is at Clantrisant Common near Bridgend. Now, you'll see the caterpillars here clustering together. And last September, the team took larval webs and they took them out to the commons and they placed them on Devil's Bit Scabious plants right around. Once they did that, the rest was up to the caterpillars. Would they feed on the plants? Would they find safe hibernation sites? Would they survive the winter? Well, the team would have to wait until this spring to find out. And how did they find out? Well, they surveyed using, surprisingly, thermal cameras. Now, they headed out into the same commons. And the interesting thing about this is that the caterpillars are able to keep their temper just in high enough above ambient temperature to have a heat signature that's visible on that thermal thermal camera, so you could see them there glowing in the dark. Now, it was absolutely amazing because this hard work has really paid off. This summer, on the commas, they had the first free-flying marsh fritillary butterflies on the commons for over 20 years. And even better news is just one month ago, they had 193 new larval webs counted out on the commons. So this is really good news. It looks like the project is working and they're like little beacons of hope in the gloom. Mm. And hats off there to Rob Parry and the team doing some fantastic work.